Hello everybody, welcome back to Blackjack. It's been a little bit. We um, haven't uh, haven't been streaming much. I uh, haven't been feeling too good. I came down with some dehydration issues. Uh, yeah, it's been a heck of a time. But, you know what? We've ran into a little issue, and that issue is called Daybreak. Let's see, do I have any quests in the building? I don't know where the quests are other than just the ones that I've seen dotted on the map. Um, I got the one off the chalkboard already. Ah, looks like this guy wants to talk to us. You're that talented survey corps member I keep hearing about, right? I have a favor to ask you. You know Orboro Tunnel? Yeah, the tunnel near Obsidian Falls? I'm hoping to dig into the tunnel walls to see if I can find any good stone there, but a Pokemon's been raging about and getting in my way. It's more than I can handle. Think you can calm it down for me? Yeah. I, I mean, I can, I can certainly try. Thanks a ton. Please head to the tunnel once you're ready to calm down that Pokemon. Digging for tomorrow! Yay! Okay, it doesn't seem like anyone else in the building has anything for us. Oh, hush. You, you can shut up. You've already taken so much from me. Okay, there was a quest I picked up from someone. Or from the, um, from the bulletin board. But I hadn't started it yet. Oh, might as well check in with Vesta to see the... You collected 98 wisps so far. That leaves nine more wisps to find. Find two more, I'll give you a little reward. Three wisps in Crimson Mirelands. Three wisps in Coronet Highlands. Three wisps in Alabaster Icelands. Don't give up. I think this is all you have to talk to. You're with the Survey Corps, right? Chime Echo's decided to nest in my house. Do you think you could get, help me get it to move? Chime. Made itself at home under the eaves before I even noticed. It's kind of big for you not to notice. Seems mellow enough, but I'm not at ease with having a Pokemon so close. Yeah, these things will aggro you if you try to get near them, so... I've already spoken to some homeowners who would be willing to let Chimeco move in with them. What I'd like you to do is have a good is have a look at the homes and make sure they'd be a good fit for Chimeco. It's not like I can tell what Chimeco feels, so first place I'd like you to check is that farmer's house near the fields. I think you could find a nice place for Chimeco to hang there. There's a few yeah. Or wait, do you mean the one that's up that way? Because that's not really a farmhouse. But, it, I mean, otherwise I'm just looking randomly at houses, right? Well, she said homeowner, so that would indicate... See, there's four houses here. I'm assuming she means the freestanding one. It's always good to have a satchel chock full of charms when setting out on a survey. I've been venturing out all over Hisui, and there really are some odd Pokemon out there. Yep. <laughs> Behold, corn! I don't know if any of y'all are old enough to remember the gentleman behold corn meme. <laughs> Oh, 
That is some late 90s shit, I believe. Uh, is this the place that's taught? Walker's been saying he wants to join up with the Galaxy team once he's old enough. If that day comes, look after him, won't you? Lady, I intend to go back home. SCP usage detected to may experience performance issues, but I don't have any draft frames. I'm assuming she means the ones that are directly across the, you know, the road, not across the river. There's not even anyone in this one. <laughs> yeah, Chimeco are weirdly aggro in this game. It's you wouldn't expect them to be. I bet there are more types of berries out in this great world, and I'd like to gather them all here in Hisui. Ah, uh, jeez, my fan's going nuts. I don't understand this. I have this up on a platform and everything. Hang on, now I have to check my audio because my microphone fell over. Audio, my microphone okay, it's still going. That's good. I don't know what's going on. I put, I always put my, I always put my my, uh, my computer up on some books. Oh, investigate. Oh, it's coming with me. Ching. The wind direction seems to be bothering Chimeco. You wait a few minutes and that'll change. <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> or rather, it's not a lasting problem. And whoop! Imagine if they ever make a first-person Pokemon game. Oh, you're back here already. Mm. Yeah. So it prefers the way the wind blows around my house. I like it too. We get a good breeze. I'm. <sighs> How about a hut by the sea? The ocean breeze is so refreshing. Hey. <laughs> hey, unknown. Hey. Sup. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to jank that mission so hard. What are you doing here? This area sure has changed since Jubilee Village was founded. I visited the Hisui region once before, though it was about ten years ago. I remember spending my nights at the handful of huts that were scattered across Prelude Beach as I gathered medicinal leeks and the like. Oh, well, running from wild Pokemon, of course. Oh, I see you have Pokemon traveling along with you. That's another thing that's changed. When I was here ten years ago, everyone was simply terrified of Pokemon. If only there were more people like you, and we could all live together peacefully with Pokemon. What a glorious day that would be. I'm terribly sorry. Please accept this as thanks for listening to the ramblings of a traveling doctor. Okay. I will get back to my gathering of additional leaks now. Farewell. You were just standing here, dude. Okay. If that's the way you want to cut it. I still have this mission to do with the game over here because I just could not do it when I played it before. I just could not pass it. And I realized the more things I hit with each strike, uh, the more it'll um, rack up points.
There. Shame. Shame Echo seems lonely since there's nobody around. That makes sense. Uh, okay, fine. Finally gonna do this bit. Okay, can I already see Ida and the giant echo? Mm. So I'd like the lively place. It's always great to have some activity around. Chime! How about the trading grounds? Security core around that place is always bustling. Oh yeah, where it could get uh, hit by stray attacks. <sighs> Any given point, huh? And I got a mission over here, too. First. No. Time chime. I thought it was just going to turn out that Ida's house was the perfect place the whole time. <laughs> Is that your chime, Echo? Why don't you come and train with us? Hmm. It seems the Chimeco doesn't like to battle. It is going to turn out that Ida's house is the perfect place for it, isn't it? Okay, let, let, let's talk to you. Hello there, Mitsumi! You know, we have an interesting member in the Security Corps. A secret weapon, if you will. They're a bit of a Pokemon battle master, in fact. Think I can trouble you to face our secret weapon in battle? Hmm... If you're ever interested, let me know. I'd love to see a match between two real masters. I I thought he had a mission for me, too. Yeah, the reason I'm not accepting is because my team isn't quite up to snuff. I had heard that there is a mission to have a level 100 Magikarp. So, Ever here is uh, going to be filling in that role. Fuck you, Benny! Choi, you are precious and you do not deserve what happens to your bloodline. Picture of Volo is still there. <laughs> He's always watching. Which Leventon basically tells you he's doing anyway, so... Yeah. It's totally natural that some Pokemon don't like to battle. I'm sorry to scare you, Chimeco. You could just decline. Chime! So tell me not to worry about it. You're next door to me, then. It's hardly different at all from my place. Just had a chat with my neighbors, and they said they'd be fine with Chimeco hanging around. It just likes her, doesn't it? See, there's no one out here. Chime. Uh, pardon me. Has Chimeco always been that shiny? Like, you can literally see it, the reflection of the world around it. I know I just sent you chasing about looking for a good home for Chimeco, but... I think I'd like to stay with me after all. I knew it! I called it! I called it! I told you! You really helped me understand Chimeco a lot better, and I think we can actually live together now. It just dawned on me that hearing its adorable cry coming from under the eaves is part of my routine now. Chime Chime! You're going to live with me from now on, aren't you, Chimeco? Thank you for all your help. I'm glad this village has the Survey Corps. <laughs> you had a sunstone? Glad I found it myself to keep Chime Echo around. It was all thanks to your help. But I don't get to interact with Chime Echo itself, though, huh? Okay, alright, no. We're gonna... 
We're gonna go assemble a team. Okay. Eh. Hmm. Okay, I have a split. There we go. Yeah, um, I, um, I make absolutely no apologies for the name of my Togekiss. I'm, I'm just putting it out there. No, but you know what? No, you're gonna go back here. Yeah, I've been working on my decks, filling everything out. And of course, my own secret weapon, Murph. Usually I don't use these shortcuts, I just, like, walk. I heard you raised your rank again! Now I can teach your Pokemon some more new moves, so what can I do for you? About your request. Think I can trouble you to face our secret weapon in battle? Yeah. Give us a moment then. Is it you? So I heard the news. There's to be a face-off between two masters. You know, I heard our core secret weapon can even defeat Alpha Pokemon. Hmm, yeah, fancy that. Mm hmm. Mm. Everything's set. Come with me. Is it you? <laughs> You've been standing here the whole time. Here's our ace in the hole. Rest. Please, Captain Zizu. I'm just a common guardsman. However. So long as I stand in defense of this gate, I have no intention of letting anyone defeat me! Free Pokemon. I mean, at least it's level 62, okay? At least it's not a complete joke. You know, here we fight in the shadow of an actual boss. And again, that could very well be your picture in front of his. So. <laughs> okay, this will be interesting. You're probably going to use some. Oh. Okay, I thought you were going to use an electric type attack. What? Mm. Yeah. Is it going to be a Starly that he hauls out last? Yep, yep. Okay, the God Slaying Crunch. How about that, huh? 
He stood up it, to it better than Giratina did. I'll just put it to you that way. <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. down yeah here's a little thing though it's called Thunderbolt it's called type advantage it's called move diversity uh, hey Mercury you broke through my defenses thought I could do better than that seeing as I'm a guardsman This is apparently Zisu's secret weapon. This is to be expected. Setting out beyond the village and battling so many different Pokemon in the course of your survey work has, uh, has made you very strong. My first job as a guardsman was catching some Bidoof that seemed intent on infiltrating the village. Yeah, that was one of my first missions, too. Since then, I've kept many Pokemon from passing through our gates. Sometimes I'd slip up and let some in. Goodness, when people let me have it. I also befriended some of the Pokemon, and before we knew it, we'd grown strong together. Gained so much, and all because I was trying to make sure folks could live safely here. It's my job to keep everyone safe, isn't it? Now, there's one last thing I'd like to tell you. If you're heading outside the village again, stay safe out there, kid. Now I think I better get back to work. <laughs> I already did another of the DLC missions, um, which was to find a nice place for a Chimeco to hang out. Ooh. Oh man, I have done so many of those. Yeah, I even went and assembled my big team. Because she started hyping this guy up so much. So I might as well just... I... I was spoiled on there being a mission to where you're going to need like a level either 99 or 100 Magikarp, so I'm training one up. I'm also filling out my Shiny's um, requirements and stuff. Also, um, in my effort to fill out the Togekiss uh, stuff i leveled one to level 89 and yes it did name it after the boss of the game um i am not taking any questions <laughs> okay i had that back your survey work keep it up yeah it was a cute mission it was basically she didn't want the Chimeco there, but then she realized she wanted it there. <laughs> okay. You improved your hiring practices, background checks, psychological profiles. You, Benny. I went in here earlier, but I realized I should probably, I don't know, talk to more people, even if they don't have an icon marker over their heads. Hmm. Oh, to next rank, 3,460 points. I would regard questions if you didn't name a Pokemon after Volo. Yes. I suspect you'll earn a promotion soon. There's a guy here who gave me a quest. Uh, I 
like it's been so long since I've actually had to deal with any actual quests. Um, okay, that's the one I need to do. Okay. I imagine most people would expect me to name the Giratina after him, but no. Okay, I know there's supposed to be, like, the secret dialogue or something you get. Oh! Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. The music changed, so I was kind of thinking, oh, hey, wait. But no, there's literally nothing happening. I saw... Um, a video of someone getting up here and someone was saying that they thought they had to get the unknown using like the, the flying balls. They said they had no idea that you could actually go out here. Even though you see Commodo out there as part of the actual storyline. You know what? Screw it. Let's go up here. Let's give it a shot, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh they're, of course, they're all the way down here. Usually, Hapini spawn up here. Frickin'. I am gonna have to do those balloon courses again. And again, and again, and again. Oh, frickin', no! Ow. Draft from the top of a tree, break my entire leg. Okay, here I get this. Uh. Eventually, I'll like. Probably when all of the um, items come out for the bits of legendaries, including Arceus itself, I'm probably going to do a stream just about catching all of those. And I think that'll be very interesting. <laughs> oh, I told a friend of mine about your... Uh, shipping Silene and Beauregard and why and uh, she said that makes perfect sense and is adorable. <laughs> okay, last time I had a... Oh, frick, 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 frick. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Yeah, last time I had an outbreak over here, I had to clear away a lot of the stuff that was causing me grief, like these, before I could even get started on the outbreak. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna... You wanna try that again, huh? Uh, so many of these are like, use strong style and agile style X amount of time. Uh. Oh, frick, 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 frick. I hate these things. How is it that a freaking wild amber palm? is almost strong enough to take out the incarnation of the land. It does not make sense. I have to keep using these attacks. The Sand Seer and the Extra Sensory. 
Because that's another thing. I had to catch that apom before because it wouldn't leave me alone. Hitting it. Take it. We're not gonna take it anymore. <sighs> Freaking terrifying. Let's throw grease my weird chip. It gets more dragged on this vehicle. Obviously, post it when I'm done. Yay! Yes, Ultra Ball. Frickin' come on. I noticed throwing more than one of these just makes them kind of stand in line for them. Like, for some reason, they only register the first one that comes out, and they don't register a second one until the first one is gone. because it had its back turned, but then it turned it sideways as I was throwing the ball. So I did not get a sneak attack. Because of freaking course. Jeez. I know scrolling through things is probably a better choice than sorting through the menu every time, but it comes across like there's just so much to scroll through, you know? Suddenly the file button lit up, and I don't know why. Okay, oh, well, I don't actually have anything to get here. There's no, um, there's no satchels or anything up here. Huh. Okay. What did I see from Shinx? Number of... T oh, I defeated a Shinx with Grim. 
Okay, that must have been something I did beforehand. Chimeco. Investigated Chimeco settled in a human home. There we go. Oh, I didn't fill out Overquill stuff. Okay. Well, now I know what to do. Uh, Landorus. Sansier Storm. Strong Style. Agile Style. Just gotta keep doing that. 40 freaking times! Mm. Had to see someone about my shoulder yesterday. Let's go till morning. I don't want to have to deal with all the ghosts that are over there at night. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Calm the raging Pokemon in Orboro Tunnel. And I'm going to immediately hop on my bird and go there. I mean, it probably would have made more sense to start from there, but, you know, screw it. You know, it's actually, since it's been a little while, I should probably catch you up on some of the stuff that I've caught. I caught a shiny Shinx. I was just walking around, and there it was right over in that direction. It was pretty neat. Uh, you probably also, I know you did, Mercury, but as far as the general audience at home, uh, might have seen my video that I made showing off that I got two shiny Cricketot in one outbreak. So that was a lot of fun. And that was right after I had caught a shiny Togepi, too. Too late for the shiny Togepi to be our little wishing star. <laughs> Okay. Okay, you've piqued my interest. What are you doing out here? Um. Ugh. No, just hop off. You made a choice just now, didn't you? You chose to talk to me? There's something in my right hand, something in my left. I think you would like either. So you're not stranded. You're just fucking with me. Choose left or right, then I'll give you the item in that hand. Uh, I'm right-handed, so why not? Okay, I, I need red shards. That's good. I can't tell you it was in the hand you didn't choose. That's the secret. Think about it. It's impossible to know what lies down the path you didn't take. This is the same. A simple trace of right or left could change the future. I'm going to push you in the water now. I, I hope you appreciate that. I said that our life experience is constructed by the sum of all the choices that we make. I hope you make great choices that lead you to an ever better future. Okay, you only left because I told you I was going to push you in the water. By that, I altered the future. But I suppose it's just as well because it would have been my responsibility to fish you out. The question is, would I have been responsible enough to do so? I mean, I guess that's a path we just won't know. We just can't understand the choices we don't take. Can we? Oh, I don't need the... It's not the rare candy I want to use. I thought that was the, like, experience bits. Yeah, well, let's use this on strawberry. Strawberry should be pretty tanky, right? A 
Ha ha! Let's see, I didn't try to give me. Let's see here. Okay, come on. Okay. We are uh, going the wrong way. We're going the right way, but we're going the wrong way. Because it's underneath us. <laughs> okay. And a walk, 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 and a walk, 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 and a diving down cliffs. There we go. No, no. There. Iron chunk is what I am after. Yeah, I still have zero dropped frames, even though my computer's acting weird. Okay, well, that's not so bad. That's something I can take on. So, oh. I have to actually get close to it, don't I? things. Yeah, the game won't let me interact with it until I get close. Oh, good, you made it. It's the thing in there, isn't it? It's not the Onyx after all, is it? It's glowing red eyes. It's one of those alpha things, right? It rages about so much, I'm afraid it might bring the whole tunnel down. It's really dangerous. Okay, well, it looks like it's raging at the thing that's in the ground. What? Children. Children. There. Oh. I have to catch it, huh? Hi. Onyx, you're in for a world of hurt. Oh, it's actually not letting me capture it. There's no trace between this battle. Okay. It'd be a lot easier, but okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Kulik or whatever your name was. I really just want you to understand the something here. Oh, Kochika. Wow, you're as good as they say. And that Alpha Onyx is calmed right down. I have expected it to get right back to thrashing about. They call it a feeling, but maybe, just maybe. Oh, are you gonna help it? Are you gonna try to employ it to help with the tunnel? Not raging after all, but actually trying to dig a tunnel? If that's the case, we may as well dig together. That's settled, then. From now on, we're a team. I guess you could say that Onyx and I are on it. Now I've got a partner that's more than dependable, and it's all thanks to you. You haven't actually asked Onyx if it wants to join you. You just surmised that it was trying to dig a tunnel. I, I, I want to see your authorization, young man. I want to see that you are, in fact, qualified to dig with an onyx that is level 60. Or to dig with a bucket that you give to a toddler at the beach. Because I do not trust you. I do not trust your abilities in construction. <sighs> There's some folks who's saying they'd make statues of Pokemon if we find some quality stone. And Leon of the Pearl Clan said we might even find coal here. Okay, partner. Let's see which of us can dig more. Okay, see, this thing is thrashing about. Like, oh yeah, okay, he teleports away at the sign of trouble. Textures in this game are so weird once you enter a cave, and I don't understand. Um. R really? You want some of this? Did this did this not answer your questions? Did this seriously not answer your questions about... Come on. This guy's the ancestor of the red digging a tunnel outside of Vale, so he's equally adept at his job. <laughs> okay, and then Mai has something for us to do. So, we meet again. I've been hearing plenty about your impressive exploits. But of course I've always known that you would impress us, ever since you dealt with that alpha cricketune for me. I've had my hands full as well. I have no idea why, but Munchlax keeps trying to run off in different directions. Munch Munchlax, where are you off to now? I'm not sure what he's so focused on, but he just up and disappears without warning. Keeping track of him has been quite the task. I've been considering getting one of those harness leashes, you know, like they make for toddlers. But, unfortunately, he does outweigh me by a considerable margin. So, I have a feeling I would be flailing along like... something that flails. I have not been able to come up with a sufficient analogy. It is honestly troubling. Usually I'm better with words than that. And usually I'm better with Munchlax than that. <laughs> okay, I got news for you. Your Munchlax is chosen by God. Was that just now? 
It almost seemed to be responding to Munchlax. Rickfoot is reacting to Munchlax and displaying his destination. He's pointing to Ramanus Island. But Munchlax is here. My, my, isn't this exciting? I wonder if we're about to see another strange phenomenon sweep across Hisui. If the sky goes red again, though, I am blaming you. I didn't blame you last time. I was actually on your side, if you recall, but if it does happen again, I am blaming you. I believe it would be an entirely separate event. Perhaps I'm reading too much into things. Can I ask you to visit Ramanas Island to try to shed some light on this new mystery? That's not the direction of Ramanas Island. It isn't. Ramanas Island is this way. See? It's down here. However, I'm going to go get the satchel this way first. Oh. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Holy cheese! Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, fine. Fine, strawberry it is then. Venoshock. I think Strawberry is a very nice name for a uh, shiny skin tank. You know, it's just a little bit ironic, but not to the point of being obnoxious. It matches the colors. I have to keep checking dropped frames. You know how I'm worried. Okay, and that. Yeah. I, I have no idea what's going to go on over here. I know that the Munchlax is connected to Outbreaks, and it gives you, like, a lot more to look at. But I didn't see an Outbreak here. Maybe it's one that doesn't load until you get to it. Oh. Oh, hello there! I haven't actually seen you in this game yet! I've gotten your evolution. I think I got two of them. One of them was an alpha. Wait, I can't... What? Can I... Huh? Eh? No, 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 no. Okay, should I go back? Or should I try to at least catch one? This is nowhere around here to actually, like, hide. This 
suppose I could do. This is what I was actually trying to do. Okay, uh, grain cakes are liked by this guy. Catch what you can, okay. Frick. Um, okay. Um. Alright, well, that gives me access to two of them. Level 27. Okay, I can just use regular Pokeballs for that. an odd smell. It smells like someone's trying to make toast in the oven. Or maybe popcorn, I don't know. But they wouldn't make popcorn in the oven. It smells like the oven. It smells like the oven in this house. Okay, is this really how we're continuing to do things? What? <laughs> Oh wow, okay, I got all of them this time. I need to make more Pokeballs. Yay! Excuse me. Ooh. I didn't even see what move that was. It, it was just really cool looking. I guess it must be really cool if it gave me frostbite, huh? <laughs> That's it! You caught Zorua! Okay. Okay, well, that does seem to be it. Hmm. Well, let's pick this up on the way back. I'm trying to make out what that is now. Oh, it's just a A-POM. I ran in that cutscene totally on accident, trying to catch Landorus. Oh man, that was that was a wild ride. Cause there I am suddenly, and then boom, Landorus. Eh, yeah, let's just let's just run back here. What the hell was that? Done with your investigation? Please tell me what you found. Uh, that hardly tells me anything. What kind of Pokemon did you see then? Those spiteful foxes. <laughs> the spiteful fox Zorua? Well, you came across a rare Pokemon. I've seen them in the Icelands before, but not here. So is that it, Munchlax? You were curious about Zorua? Well, this is unexpected. It seems there are too much lags now. But naturally, I've never failed to recognize my own munch lags. Um, it's you, right? Not the munch lags next to me, the other one. One! <laughs> 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 
sis, how could you? Uh, so, Zorwa. How odd for it to appear in the field lands. Come on. My own sister doesn't recognize me. I only hope this isn't an omen of something unpleasant yet to come. As a precaution. <laughs> Silence is deafening, lol. Be careful you say that too, because I had a little... Oh, shit, is my microphone turned off? But, a moment. <laughs> oh, Netbug, this is the person I was telling you about. Mercury, who uh, ships Silene and Beauregard. <laughs> As a precaution, it might be best for you to report this to your captain. Okay. <laughs> My sister doesn't know who I am. <laughs> You're talking to her before. Oh, really? It just get kind of vibe and listen. Only do chores for giving me a kind of quiet. Okay. I finally caught some <laughs> little foxies. Which I said because I legitimately forgot what they were called. I know they've been around since Gen 5, but the word Zorua just completely left my mind. Eh. Uh, oh, that's funny. That doesn't get a um, research task about it. I guess it those are just the ones that you see in the town, right? Or the the assignments you get in town, anyway. Okay, I have to use more strong and more agile moves, but I guess it doesn't matter what they are. Okay, well that frees me up a little bit, because I, I filled up having to use earth power. Okay. I'm almost at level 10. But I am not quite there yet. Daybreak's DLC, they didn't add new research tasks. They did, though. They gave me one about um, a Chimeco. And that was on the... Uh, that was on the form. It didn't show up till after the DLC came out, so... Like, it legit had not been there. Be a shame if someone snatched it up. Hi, Beauregard. I don't research tests. I mean, Pokedex requirements. Yeah. It, well, it was it was on there. It was on the form. Like, uh, I know it's the other way. Um. Uh. Unless I... D yeah, it's Chimeco. Investigated Chimeco settled in a human home. But it might be one of those things like how the alpha thing on there only shows up after you catch an alpha of that species. Really? Okay. Because I, I never saw the... Um, Existed. <laughs> yes, how exactly did it? Was it that you pronounced Wormful? In fact, my phone is right here. I could bring up your video and show how you pronounced Wormful. <laughs> a gathering of Zoroa in a place other than their natural habitat. Could this also have been caused by the space time rift? I suppose we don't know enough yet to say for certain. At any rate, thank you for the, for the report. Get that thing out of my office. Mitsumi, things are growing worse. After we parted, Munchlax reacted to several different locations and there was a mass outbreak at each of them. Simultaneously in multiple locations. I was really hoping these two would never meet because their voices are too similar. <laughs> 
That is to say that I gave them both a deadpan voice. <sighs> there must be somehow... These must somehow be different. <laughs> I can talk! These must be somehow different from the mass outbreaks we know. Why don't we call this new phenomenon... I don't know. A massive mass outbreak. Your new orders are to investigate this massive mass outbreak. Okay. Sounds like I can count on you to keep investigating. Why is it that you have a score bunny hairpin? Did Laventon give that to you? Just like as a gesture of goodwill or something? Given where he's from and all? Well then, I'll be waiting for you to buy the front gate. I still have questions about this thing. Why do you have a bird perch in your office? It's fully modeled. It exists nowhere else in the game, I believe. I remember after... Uh, well, no, because she and Hisui and Braviary were released in the same... Uh, they were both shown in the same trailer. But... Uh, yeah, but people suspected that she would have one. Excuse me. Why is it that I can never actually buy from you? Yeah, this is this is clearly a menu. See, it looks like I can get a nice pot of tea and something fried. Looks like I can get a huge thing of rice with some pickled vegetables. Looks like I get what is that top thing? Pickles and soup. Yeah, okay. Okay. Get tea. I knew that would get your attention. And you can never order from here. You can't even actually order from Benny. You only go to his shop during cutscenes. <laughs> Not that I would want to eat anything that man prepared anymore. <laughs> Looks like an eel bowl. It might be. I suppose I should tell you exactly what I witnessed first. Munchlax suddenly took off running into a rainstorm. I tried to stop him lest he get wet, but then I saw those mass outbreaks appearing all over. It's not so much the water I worry about, it's that he really, really, really stinks terribly when he's wet. This grass is very uncomfortable. I probably should move my foot if the grass is going through my shoe, but... Um, I'm not. I think I might be rooted in the place. Um, please, please help. Um, uh, may, may, maybe talking about something else will help me. Perhaps it was the massive mass outbreak that much like was so curious about. Uh, he's still kind of bitter at me for not recognizing him, but if that's the case, Munchlax might be able to help us investigate this phenomenon anyway. I'll also work with you as I'm concerned about Munchlax. He just hasn't been the same, you know, since I didn't recognize him. Um, <sighs> can begin a guard investigation as soon as you're prepared. Are you ready to go now? Uh, I just have to pry my foot up, but I'll be right after you. Okay. Off to the Heights Camp with us. Did my voice for her change since the beginning of this broadcast? I think it did. I made it breathier, didn't I? And less high-pitched. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess I just needed to walk it off. We haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet, nor has Munchlax reacted to anything. Shall we just wait for a while to see whether something happens? Hmm. Well, it's raining. Maybe that's a clue? Hmm. He really does smell terrible when he's wet. I mean, you could already smell it, right? It's raining, and it looks like it's going to get worse. Munchlax keep uh, uneaten food in their fur, and... Some of it is quite old. It doesn't smell as long as it's kept in the fur. But when the fur's wet, it... Come on. Don't interrupt me while I'm trying to slander you. 
Are you worried about the rainstorm, Munchlax? We still don't know what's causing these massive, mysterious massive mass outbreaks. I am going to absolutely break Silene over my knee for naming them that. Perhaps that fancy map of yours could show us something. No, you know what? That's too that's too tidy. Let's go here first. Seems you have some idea where to look for these outbreaks now. Now check out a few. Seeing at least three ought to give us some idea of what's going on. That was too tidy. Let's go to one farther away. Ah, it's Pichu's. What, what? Why? Have you been looking for that for a while? I feel you, Maya. I love Silene and alliteration. I'm surely could have come up with a better name. You have been looking for Pichus for a while, haven't you, huh? <laughs> Stop being so lucky, yeah. <laughs> If you get a shiny, I am unsubscribing, joke. <laughs> you know, though, I could totally see you, like, unsubscribing and then immediately resubscribing. You know, Netbug, I have actually been looking for shinies for you. I keep, um... I keep getting, like, APOM hordes, and I have never found a shiny, but if I do, I'll give you one. APOM, Ambipom, and Chimchar, and I keep looking and looking, and none of them have ever been shiny. I keep looking for shiny chat outs. Oh, I haven't gotten any chat out swarms yet. Alternately, I was going to say, you're not going to unsubscribe. I know where you live. <laughs> seems to have formed that uh, here oh. oh unless you come over and force me to refollow don't threaten me with a good time <laughs> these Pikachus are level 64 and they're in, in the first area oh dear um Okay, yeah. Okay, you know what I'll do? This. I'll do this. Freaking Landorus. <laughs> Does that mean if I stay here long enough, I'll get a Raichu horde? Crap. 
Okay, all right, this should cover it if you do, I swear. <laughs> it doesn't mean any of them are going to be shiny, though. Shiny Bidoof, yeah. Well, hey, I don't have a shiny Bidoof. You know what shiny Bidoof is? Shiny Bidoof is like internet gold. I was watching um, some people do, well, it was, it was, you know, a pre-edited video and all, so it wasn't nearly as long as watching it live, but some people do a, um, like, to get a shiny of each, oh, frick, of each color of the rainbow. So they were trying to find a purple shiny, but they found a frickin' shiny apom. And he's, he's like, no, <laughs> it's pink. And regular Apom would qualify me. <laughs> RT found she found two shiny doofs in a row. Oh, man. And he took forever looking for a shiny Wooloo, too. He took, like, what was it, like two weeks straight or something? It's not the drama I came here for, but I'm like, I don't even need shiny Petri. I just need to finish the text entry. <laughs> Yeah, Pichu's surprisingly rare, isn't it? Okay, where, where are, there you are. You can't actually do much to Landorus, you know. Okay, look, Iron Tail is one of the few things you can do. Yeah, Mercury Nutbug and I go way back. We met at uh, Card League, like local Card League. So, that's been a heck of a time. <laughs> she was kind of amazed when I guessed one of the twists in one of the Mystery Dungeon games. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, are you... Spoiler. And she's like... How? <laughs> I don't know, it just made sense the way you were describing it. <laughs> okay, there's another one. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do it like this. Come here, sweetheart. I'm our friends forever because you know too much of my cringe. <laughs> eh, cringe is overrated. I'm kinda surprised there isn't something for feeding Pikachus, you know? You know, it's the last one. I d the rainstorm may go on a bit longer. Oh, so it's on a internal timer. Take out Mikey and John with the rainbow shiny video. I think that was... That might have been it. Okay. I just want to hang out here a second. Okay, it still says Pikachus. It means there's some Pikachus here still, yeah? You know what, though? Let's go over here. Let's see what's on this other side. We waited. I don't know where the final Pikachu was. I thought that was it. Oh. oh. Um. How?
Okay, you know what? No. We're gonna go over here. There's no research chest for feeding Pikachus because ketchup isn't an item in this game. <laughs> I was gonna say, isn't it just Ash's Pikachu? But then I remembered there was, like, an entire merch line of, like, Pikachus with ketchup. Seems to have ended. Okay. Well, at least it sticks around. I'm gonna come over here. I have some heavy balls. Really? You're just gonna ignore everything I'm doing? Maybe that's the point. They're just flat out telling me they're not interested in anything I have to offer them. Look at look at that. It's just I pretend I do not see it right there. Yeah, okay, so I guess the rest of them stick around. There, the reported Pokemon seem to be gone. Remaining locations, one, I investigated... Do I have to catch it? No, I because I did catch it, three of them. Okay. You know what though here before we before we leave. Because they still won't give me a workbench in my own house. No, you know what? I'm gonna go catch one more. What's something I should catch? Come on. Yeah, come on. Up. Goodness golly. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like... Uh... Okay, come on. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Okay, uh... Venom shock should be sufficient. Okay, well, it knocked it out anyway. Okay. <gasps> Huh! Okay then. Okay, this has to have some something for feeding it, right? There we go. <laughs> and there's that. 
Well, there. That brings us up to 20. Oh, okay. Well, uh, should we stick around for the space-time distortion? Or do you want to continue with the plot? Because I'm good with either one. Just let me know what you want to see. Okay. Hmm. Just let me know which one. <sighs> you know, for all the exploring I do in this game, poking around every hill and vale, I didn't even notice this thing until Volo pointed it out. <laughs> Space-time distortion, I don't care. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna rest up. Mm. Just a little while. Alright. Woohoo! Woohoo! Actually, I know what we can do while we wait for it to form. Oh. Definitely go for this. Okay, come on. Mm. Okay, I have to remember to keep my shoulders out more. Um. Uh. My physical therapist says that I likely don't have, like, damage specifically for, like, like, specific nerve damage. She says it seems to be more that my shoulders were already, like, in a state of tension or something? I, I don't remember how she phrased it. Oh, crap! <laughs> I missed it. It's a good thing I don't have Drycon Drift right now. I would hate to go over the cliff. Drycon Drift screwed me up in Skyrim, let me tell you. Especially since I was doing a lot of archery. Uh, it's a pain waiting for this thing to double back around. But anyway, though, I have to, like, strengthen up the, the shoulder muscles in my... Or, like, my... Frick, how do I even phrase it? It's some muscle I had never heard of that is causing the problem. She said it's, like, not as... Um... Frick. It, it's basically not quite where it should be. It's a little bit off. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Um, it's a little out of whack. <laughs> Blackjack screws up describing something simple. You know what, where an interesting place to set a video game would be? And it's a region that already exists, but it only exists in the card games. Have you ever heard of the Holon region? 
It would be a whole lot of fun. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Blackjack runs around in a circle and screams. <laughs> ah! Frick. Ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No! I'm glad that I've never seen a shiny in one of these because I think I would combust. No, go away. Yeah, okay, I don't... Frick! Lick of tongues, I thought you were my friends! Oh, okay, you're not... Okay, you... Oh, now you're aggro. Okay. Okay, that's around where I came in. Mm -hmm. Come on, run, 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 run. People are saying there's supposed to be a way to sprint in this game, but I haven't found it. Because if you push down the B button, which is a normal sprint button, you crouch. Anyway, the Holon region from the card game is, um, there's like, it, the implication is that there's these weird signals that are let out, and it turns Pokemon into alternate types. Like, I think one of them is like an electric type Charmander or something like that. Nope, nope, you're not gonna get me. Thou shalt not. <laughs> and anyway, I think they'd be really cool to set an actual video game in. Although, I can see it turning into one of those, like, um, moral choice games, so they'd have to do it, like, really, really right. You know, because those are already a hit and miss. They'd have to make it so, you know, I don't know, you choose to leave it the way it is, or, okay, well, that, that, was, that, was, that was quick. Leave it the way it is, or, you know, set it back to how it's supposed to be, but, like, turns out there are benefits to either one, or something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, none of them were shiny, even though I couldn't see them all the way. So you made some new observations. Let's have a look then. 
When I complete the decks, I want to have a stream where I just read the decks as Laventon. <laughs> Its robust stomach allows it to nonchalantly devour even rotted matter. <laughs> Scant few have ever cited this Pokemon. After studying what literature remains, I am certain Togekiss will reveal itself and peace reigns in the land. Yeah, there's a little problem with that. You, um, you see this number defeated one? Yeah, ask me about that battle sometime. Go on, ask me about it. Ask me about the guy who had it. Ask me about his intentions for the world. Ask me his intentions for the creator. Because, uh, peace reigning, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think he really even had a plan other than screw over Arceus as much as possible. <laughs> See, Cyrus at least planned for what his new world was going to be like. Volo was basically just step one, kill Arceus. Step two, I don't know. <laughs> Become a god myself, I guess. <laughs> no, his step one was sweet outfit. <laughs> Somehow finagle Rezu to do my hair up and let me wear a hat at the same time. Actually, no, it would have been Edith that did his hair if it was if if he got at it for all that time. Transparent mechanism. What might that be? Uh, what is it? Oh. That's not- it's a disc! It's not transparent! You know what? I think we've earned another clothing option. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I want to go with- you know what? Here, let's go with the fist plate. It landed right on there. I was going to say I want to go with um, one of these ones that's based on one of the plates. And yes, I did already buy the spooky set. You know, at one point I bought some shoes from uh, Ginter, but I never saw them in my it, like in a, my ability to change either here or with, uh, at the mirror. But yeah, I bought some, like, it was, like, odd or unique or something. And I wanted to look at them, like, on stream at some point, but I never even saw them in my inventory. Yeah, see, that's just the sandals I came in with. Yeah. See. Uh, slippers. What? Is it? Is it slippers? Is it slippers? Is that really what he gave me? Was just have slippers? Ugh. Okay, it was probably the house slippers then. Because nobody's talking about house slippers. What people are talking about that you can get from him is you can get Volo's freaking god outfit from him. Can you get like a regular merchant outfit from him? Hmm. 
buttons here. Oh, frick. Okay, this, um, I realized what mission was selected right as I was leaving, but let's go up and get this anyway. Okay. Mm. This is what I needed to have selected, but you know what? Okay, fine. Let's go over here. Not to moon view, view arena. We are not going to deal with Melly. In fact, we are going to give, go over, flip the double deuce at Melly, and then we are going to go about our day. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. You know, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the whole part um, where Melly is like, yeah, I've totally forgotten what it is Lord Electrode likes. And it's, oh, there it is. And it's like, dude, you know, it'd be one thing if you could actually back up your bravado, but you've just admitted that you're slacking off at your job. <laughs> And you've said it with the utmost confidence. As if no one is going to care that you just admitted to this in front of everybody. So, yeah, that was a little, uh... That's a little on the awkward side. <laughs> oh. Hello. Finally decided the number of stairs I'd like to push Melly down. Thirteen. Painful but not entirely lethal and my second favorite number. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe if we contact Adam and we can get him to set up some stairs. I mean there are plenty around here. Now, here's something that, so we're supposed to infer that Giratina had something to do with the destruction of the Celestica people, right? Is that the implication that others got? Because the statue that the Celestica people built was already away from the others, and according to Volo, that was a show of disrespect. So it was already away from here. It's possible that, you know, this angered Giratina and it meted out its destruction that way. But it was already seen as wicked by that point. Or it's entirely possible that the destruction of the Celestic people had nothing to do with Giratina. Something really coming at me? Yeah, yeah. You gonna try? You gonna try? Uh huh. Uh huh. I bring forth the power of the land. Oh, there's something shiny over there. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. You gotta do more. Uh, agile than strong, it seems. Frickin' amazing! Look at that! 
burned neat. <laughs> so what is your first favorite number then? Ah, there you go, a nugget. How about that? I mean, 13 is actually my favorite number, but that's because I was born on the 13th of the month. Yeah, yeah, you really, uh, really talk a big game there, Orb. Orbulon the Unready. <laughs> really? You really trying to come after me, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah, sure. Fine, whatever. Your medicinal leak tastes any different than a regular one? Fuck you, Billy. Actually, wait, I gotta go over here. <laughs> mm. Yes, I would care to repeat my report my findings. I'd also like to repeat my findings. Sure, why not? For behold, the 386, a spectacle of graphics and sound. <laughs> okay, Netbag understands that joke. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Netbug gets it. Oh, breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. Okay. Okay, let's go see some haunters. Let's go see some hopefully shiny haunters. The shrouded ruins. Thirty-six. I had a bus driver as a kid that I really liked for whatever reason. His bus number is thirty-six. Plus, it's a nice-looking number. Oh, hey. Now I finally understand Adam's desire to see what the future holds, or at least I think I do. There's a Pokeball capture. Game of capture. I'll be sitting on the mind reels. Except. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, your name is Sept. Ah, oh, Nessus. There, there was someone else, I swear, who had a month. Yeah, Sember. Yeah. Yeah. Almond, like an almanac. Prima, which is a name that they forgot they already used. <laughs> Although it was Dove only, since her game name is Lorelei. <laughs> okay, so the Diamond Clan names people after months. It's... The same naming scheme that Shadow uses in Street Fighter. <laughs> Which, by the way, means that they have an officer named Mars. But it's M A R Z, like March. I should probably also point out I never actually played Street Fighter V. I, um,. Uh, I played the others. Well, uh, yes, I haven't played Street Fighter 1. I was going to say I haven't, but no, I did. No one played Street Fighter 1. Street Fighter 1 sucked. And I say that as a Street Fighter fan. It is amazing that we got a sequel. Because the first game was terrible. Terrible. 
Okay. <laughs> Terry's ancestor would be June. Yeah. So someone learned a new move, but I didn't see who it was. Doesn't look like we're going to be seeing a shiny one, though. Oh well. Did not see any shinies. Okay, might as well pick this item up while I'm here. The, no, I wanted to s this one. I'm not very dexterous. Oh, hey, check it out. Someday you will get a shiny on stream and Netbug and I will be screaming in rage. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah. Yeah, especially if it's like that two shinies in one outbreak that I saw the other day. Because honestly, that, that was hilarious. Oh, you know, and I just saw another bag down there. But you know what? It's all for the the uh, pre-programmed people anyway. It's not going to an actual person like when you connect to the internet. You know, although I connected to the internet like three times yesterday and I couldn't get any download missions. This frightful malevolent spirit can guide through walls, appearing whenever it likes. According to rumor, victims of a haunter's lick will wither to death day by day. R rumors of where? You know, it'd be really nice if we didn't have to return to Jubilife every single day. Time. If we could just travel from district to district, you know? You know what? No, I already have a shiny Gabite. I do not need you. It's okay. I am walking away. I am walking away. Actually, here, I'll, I'll show you guys. Shiny stable. There we go. <laughs> I think it's a very nice attraction. And then, of course, I got strawberry and shinks over here. <laughs> okay, so. My, my, my. Okay. 
But I did. That's literally why I'm back here now. I went back to Juvelife Village specifically because you told me to. Yeah, that's why I went there. Because you said to go back. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to see if there's another toga kiss over here. I have to catch another one. Wasn't the whole point to leave the area and then come back? Or do I have to specifically talk to her in town? Because I don't recall seeing her in town. Was she in town? Goodness golly, goodness golly. <sighs> so, my sister is staying with us for a few days. And my niece. Uh, my uh, brother-in-law is either staying with his parents or at their house. Uh, you know, at his and my sister's house um because their toilet broke and it was um breaking in the worst possible way if you know what i mean so um yeah it's been hectic over here come on My dad's been taking voice lessons at the local community college. And so he has been... Ah, oh, there we go. What did I just... Oh, nope. I am... I am leaving that area. Um... What was that noise? <sighs> oh no, I have to keep catching them too. Unless I find more that are that just around, but it says they're only found at Lake Verity. Uh does it count as light specimens if I evolve like a lighter togepi or togetic? Because I know it counts for overall number of catching them. Okay, let's see, where is she? Is she, like, in the office or something? Where do these drawers belong? Because they don't belong to this file cabinet unless they go up top for some reason.
what is this thing here? Is this just a blanket? He sleeps on the couch? Saline doesn't sleep. She keeps herself going with a combination of potato mochi and anxiety. <laughs> Commodore probably sleeps at his desk. I mean... <laughs> so I have to just keep going back to the obsidian field lands? Is that... I don't understand. Okay, well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna aim for the big leagues! Fine. If Mai's not gonna play ball, we're gonna play ball. Line up lots of targets, pop a lot per ball. Practice, 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 and be the best of all. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. What do you say, sport up for a challenge? Sure. Actually throw anything, but okay. Okay, well I already succeeded. get your resources. I'm pretty sure the Galaxy Organization would like to know that. The score this time was 23,800 points. And that's something you set yourself a record. Well done. You tightened every movements. Here's a prize that benefits your skill. Broke through the 10,000 point mark, you get the real prize. Oh, great balls and nuggets. Nice. Don't think you've got to stop here. Keep aiming ever higher, kid. Play on and get better and better all the time. The better you do, the better the price is all hand out. Okay, no. I succeeded in the mission. That is all I care about. So, look at this. Woo! possible to go it's na nature when you're farming you simply have to deal with whatever nature throws at you hey yeah, let's go with the medicinal harvest there we go okay hmm okay so I have to keep checking, right? Is that what is that what it means? Oh, well, let's see. Oh, I can't actually see what the conditions are in the field lands anyway, but there's shiny chancy there, so let's go there. Oh, outbreak of chancy. I don't know if it's going to be shiny. They never are. It's Ramanus Island, right? Oh, no. I guess it's over here. Uh, it's still not raining. Oh, 
I want to say, actually, thank you both for coming, because I was worried I'd been kind of out of the loop lately as far as streaming. I'm still feeling pretty tired. What are the birdies doing? Um, well, you probably saw my video about Sonic's vet visit. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna save here, just... <laughs> I have a great, great picture of her at the vet. Um, I turn on my phone and there's a message from my sister who is downstairs say, and she knows that I'm up here. It's a bit smoky down here from dinner. You might want to take Athena upstairs. That's the kind of thing you tell someone in person when you know they're busy. Come on. Freaking hell. Seriously? Seriously? You really gonna do me like that? Uh, honestly? Okay, and... Okay. Bring up the picture. Okay, great picture of Sonic at the vet. Telling the vet all about it. She was squawking her little tiny head off. <laughs> but she's actually doing a lot better. She, um... Uh, she had been, like, losing feathers a bunch, and... Uh, apparently it's just another molt, uh, presumably anyway, um, even though the last one was just a couple months ago, but, um, she had been like kind of breathing heavily and that's already, uh, she's already kind of eased up on that. By the way, I want to show you, um, if you remember the title of the most recent, gameplay video I did. The one where, you know, all the climactic battle stuff happened. And you may have wondered why I called it Volo's Guide to Monsters. It's because it's a D&D &D book. <laughs> I saw that while I was downtown the other day and figured I should probably have a picture of it on hand just because people may be wondering where I obtained that name from. <laughs> Oh, no, you do this way. They're fairy like, even though they're not fairy types. So, honey cakes should work. Don't you narc on me, Wurmple. Okay, come on. You're gonna eat, and I'm gonna get a little... There we go. Okay. Darn it. She had her back turned when I started throwing the ball. Ah, I vanished. Aha, there we go. That was a very large one, wasn't it? Yeah, see, look. So let's see. Nope. When it turned around, it is not an alpha. Fifteen out of fifteen, there we go. Oh, and sixteen out of twenty, so okay, all right, fine. You're gonna 
I guess you're not gonna. You're the last one available, right? Let's see something here. Aha! Chuck. Okay, come on. No, no, I want to. Okay. Um. Does it rain at night? I don't. It must rain at night. <sighs> Still not raining. No. Yeah, this way. You gonna tell me anything other than to go back to Jubilife, which I've already done multiple times? You don't even go to the village with me. So, what exactly is your point going to be? Okay, fine. Um, n no. Uh, is this just nighttime music? It usually plays when there's something suspicious around, but. <clears throat> okay, until morning, let's try this again. Can't even see that. Oh. Okay, midday. Fine, fine. You know what? We'll just go back uh, again. <coughs> okay, I have to feed it four more times. Frickin', come on. This keeps ending up back up here, and I don't understand. Oh, wait, no. I want to keep those with me. Uh, no. Let's go with hobo berries. Uh, oh wait, he doesn't buy anything. It's just uh, Tuli that does. And I am going to do something a little something different. There we go. Obsidian field lands are overcast at least. But over here in the Cobalt Coast lands, we got some ghosties. Hey, Netbug! <laughs> you want to see some ghosts? 
Oh, they're not even over there. They're up here. You know what that means? It means they're going to be practically impossible to catch because I can't hide. They're going to be essentially treated like a freaking water battle. And water combat in this game sucks ass. <sighs> I wish I could just go over there. I mean, there's no logical reason other than, you know, Llama God makes the screen go pink and prevents you from moving further. You know what? No, no, it is not worth, it is not worth. I saw this over here, we're just gonna go here. I don't care if there is the possibility of shiny, I am not dealing with them now. You know, it's one of those things, if you have to ask yourself what you're willing to put up with today, not fucking this. <laughs> I really wish that you were able to fight Giratina in the ancient cemetery. I mean, I know coding up the whole distortion world for one fight wouldn't really be uh, doable, because you wouldn't be doing all of the uh, puzzles and exploration and everything. But I really wish that you had fought it in the ancient cemetery like you do in Diamond and Pearl anyway. And I mean, yes, I, I know that the whole... It would have been different. Uh, what the hell? I got a message, but it... I don't understand it. <laughs> <sighs> Whoa, okay. I... Ow. Yeah, sorry to drag you all the way out here, but, um... The ghosties were, uh, not cooperating. At all. Still bright sun. Oh yeah, it's it's raining in the Crimson Mire Lands. Of course it is. Because of course it is. Do I have to just keep sleeping and then coming back the next day? Diddly doom. Ancient cemetery. Yeah, it's there. Well, I haven't gotten it in bits yet, so I don't know where it is there. But in Diamond and Pearl, you had to solve a puzzle in a cemetery. To find it. Okay, it's overcast. So let's go here. All right. 
You're gonna give me sass. Yeah, you're gonna give me sass more, aren't you? Come on, be raining. Uh, evening? I don't understand this. Why is it taking so long to rain again? for crack and ice. Really? You really waste the entire day? Ridiculous. Oh god, and it would just be more freaking no. No, 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 no. Or a cave with randomized rooms. I, wasn't it called the Ancient Cemetery? I mean, admittedly, it's been, you know, 15 years. Someone pointed out the significance of that, of that being about 15 years since the originals came out. And then your character in this game being about 15. <laughs> and I, I don't know if that was the intention, but that is pretty fun. Uh, no, I don't want... Give me something to do! I thought Daybreak was supposed to be filled with activity! We're just going to take a few days off from work. Frickin'. It's been 15 years, who knows right? who is right at this point. Ah. What? Oh, it's been days! It's been... How is that still there? Does it only change if I go out? That doesn't make any sense. If it changes day by day, it should change no matter where you spend the day. I don't have any bags here. I'm just dragging people all over the region for no reason. Because my won't tell me what's happening. Well, it changed what the outbreak was, but it's still sunny in the obsidian field lands. This is ridiculous. Okay. Just a moment. Legends Arceus, massive mass outbreak in the field lands. Uh, let's see here. Come on. After you have cleared away... Okay, if you take too long in the Massive Ash Operations, go back to Jubilee Village, then go to any area outside of the village 
and keep going back and forth until another massive mass outbreak that doesn't make sense! Why would they make it so complicated? I've been back to Jubilife how many times by now? That's all it should take! That's all she even tells you to do! Doesn't even say anything like, might as well kill time somewhere else. Or something like that. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Why is this game so awkward? No, I do not want to install Google Chrome. Shut up. Uh, why did my sea cleaner even open? I don't understand that either. So if I got stuck a bit the same way you did. But why do I have to keep going back and forth to different areas? The passage of time is what should accomplish it. Okay, fine. We'll look for shiny birds. Oh, of course, they're right at the other camp, so I've got to drag people around again. It's always funny in games how the fire effect is, like, the last thing that loads up. Now these ones aggro like crazy. Say an alpha in there. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, you want to fight? You want to fight, huh? Yeah. Got something wrong with Simon's game? Bring it up with Dialga. Yeah, I tell you. Um. Wait, wh why did it suddenly end the battle? Did it declare that I strayed too far for again? Even though I'm right there? Which is something it does when my Pokemon manifests on a cliff. Even if it's just a little tiny ledge like that. God, I hate how long combat takes in this game. It takes for freaking ever. Okay, rock slide. Let's try this. That's that's the move I've got to use with you anyway, isn't it? Okay, yeah, just it'd be nice if I could speed up this whole process. Even one on one, it's extraordinarily slow. Come on. Yeah, I'm panning all over the place. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, hyper potion. Uh huh. The AI. Why does it keep trying to use 
Roost. It doesn't make sense. Why are you using Roost? I think Fire Fang is its required move now that I think about it, but... It doesn't matter. I'll get Growl with some XP. Okay, all right, that's fine with me. Yes, yes, I would. Yes, I did catch an alpha. That's good. Those birds are needlessly aggressive. Number of different for- Really? Okay, and I've caught 15 of them. Okay, return to the village. I don't understand why I have to leave and come back to control the weather. Uh... This is ridiculous. Oh, hey, it's right here. How about that? Okay, well, let's hope that we can catch... Oh, yeah, snow. Yeah, because that's what we're after, right? We're totally after some snow, right? Sonorous path. Okay. No. I had that on raspberries. Why did I fling a jet ball into the ground? Why would Yutsu Game think that I wanted to fling a jet ball into the ground? Kapow. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Okay, okay. I'm finally gonna catch a shiny on stream. I'm finally gonna catch a shiny on stream! <laughs> Snow in one place just for me. And another RC system's mess with you now. I caught a shiny on stream at long last! <laughs> and you know, we'll pick up the satchel. Because why not? I'm in a good mood. I just caught my first on screen shiny. <laughs> I'm on something. Hey, are you Netbug all of a sudden? Did you and she switch places? Yeah. 
No. I, I should be able to just come right up and nab this thing. Okay, come on. Move it off the area. Oh, no, you too. Get... Okay, alright. You both moved away from the satchel. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Hey, Professor, holy shit. <laughs> Ah, number of heavy specimens. All right. I saw it tick up just a little bit. Return to the village. Okay, come on. Screw you, PJ. <laughs> uh, it's cloudy. Okay, uh... I think we still had some something to find in the Crimson Mire lands. Like we had to find a um a satchel or something. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> there. This one. <laughs> oh, simple enough. Whenever I oh look, it's more, more Teddy Ursus. Look, you can even see how slick the well when its back was turned. You can see how slick the Ursa ring was from the rain. I guess when it started walking, you could see its arm, how wet that was. It's pretty cool. Okay, I thought something was next to me. Okay. Oh, well, there's another satchel up there. But you know what? We can save that. We can save that satchel. Return to the village. It'll give us an excuse to come back here if we need to. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go pester Kagata for a second. It's an antique tea set. When you've completed entries in your Pokedex for Landorus, Tornadus, and Th Tornadus and Thunderous, come and speak with me. I want to talk with you now. I want to talk with you now. I want to know the significance of that teardrop thing you're wearing because Volo pulled out one of those too. And uh, a woman you don't know yet also has one. And I thought it was just something that she wore to look cool. But since all three of you have one, it's clear there's some significance because I swear that woman is related to you. Which means that the most logical option is that you and Volo at some point... Honey, if you finish that sentence, I'm going to unleash a world of hurt. Okay, fine. Did he cry? Yes.
No one ever seems to come with me there, even though I'm supposed to be taking someone from the security corps with me. Okay. And another thing! <laughs> Pharaoh <laughs> love story in <of> Twilight. <sighs> hey, hey, Kagata. Hey, Kagata. Look at me. I'm running in place. I'm running in place, Kagata. Look at me. Yeah, well. I'm not the one who confused an ancient artifact that's supposedly sacred to my people for a cutting board. What kind of lore keeper are you? Although I still like you better than I like Zinnia. Well, I guess we have him reason to go back here. <laughs> it's episodes like this that really make me want to learn how to edit videos because I have a feeling a supercut of me being frustrated by all of this and all of my excursions going around and around and around and around um, would be pretty entertaining. Gosh, what would I even set it to? What kind of music would go with something like that? Under pressure, pushing down on you, pushing down on me, no man has for. Under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, who is it? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, really what you're going to try, huh? Okay. Okay. Bring it. Ba 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 ring it. About that. There. <laughs> That's how they flip over on their backs. Okay, you know what? There, I found someone's satchel. That is an important role I serve in this security core. I'm just ensuring that Laventon never sleeps. But, honestly... Okay. Okay, well, um, it's the only one that's not going to drive me insane. So let's go check out the Beniri, even though going to the field lands is apparently a fool's errand. Yeah, let's go to Grand Tree Arena. I also saw there was. A, um, a satchel, like, way up north. Did 
Du -du 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 gonna grab some more of these iron chunks. If I have to deal much more with this, I'm gonna blow some chunks though. And it's not going to be funny. Yeah, let's start on daybreak, I said. It'll be fun, I said. What could possibly go wrong, I said. Dazzling honey, will that do it? Okay, it's bringing two of them closer. That frick. Sucker got lucky, got rain on the first try, mark my words. Oh, I got rain on the first try. And then it, it did didn't stick raining fast enough, or for long enough. Growing up, I had a pet rabbit named Bun Bun. Well, her actual name was Benicula, like the children's books. Mm -hmm. Why did that? Why did that throw? No one's coming. Let's see if I can just pick something up over here. Stopped by the stone. <laughs> Which I'm still going to get rid of. Aha, this one down there. Come on. Oh, there's another one over there, and more over there. Frick. Okay. Well, that that was enough. <clears throat> I don't understand why just waiting in a spot long enough, which usually involves some rain, isn't sufficient. It's been sufficient to let the weather change on its own all this time, so why... It was even raining at one point when we talked to her. Does it have to be special rain? 
I remember that song, Chocolate Rain. That was a wild time. Okay, I don't need to catch any more of you. Come on, where'd you teleport off to? Come on. things I do for a multiplier. Oh, there's that weird noise again. <laughs> Boy, that last one looks funny. I swear I had more than ba more than one backstrike. Number caught. There we go. Return to the village. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. <sighs> Cloudy. Watch, this is going to be hilarious. Ding dong! And I'm going to run away before you can answer your door. <laughs> Considering how <laughs> annoying ever are to catch, usually I find it impressive that Silene has one. I know, right? This had better be sufficient rain. Okay, it is very clearly raining. Are we going to be able to do the... It is raining now, my... Thumping. My look around us. See, I'm doing the cold animation because it is raining. There is no reason that the outbreaks that occur during rain should not be happening now. See, look, I am keeping the rain off me. I am wiping all of this was water from the sky off of my clothing. And you insist that somehow the event that happens when it is raining is not happening. Professor? Turn around every now and then. I really need an outbreak storm, but you never come around. Oh my god. Well, 
<sighs> a full-blown storm. And just passing the time doesn't suffice, and I don't understand that. See, it's still raining. Let's go try to find some slugs. Okay? Slugs like rain. I don't, I don't really have any quests, though. That's the thing. This is, like, my biggest quest. She was at this encampment. I think because I took the quest in the... You know, where... <gasps> Did you see that? Look at... Look at... <laughs> and I haven't even gotten to the breakout yet. I only screamed with a shitty sound came up. I believe this is what the kids call a pog champ moment. <laughs> And I love Yanma. Yanmega is probably my favorite of the um, ancient evolutions. Okay. And it's mushroom cakes that dragons like. You know... I think I've said this before, but I just can't really take Gumi seriously anymore. And it's not because, you know, they're slugs. It's because of their name. You know the red burb? The mimetic red burb, the one that goes, wait, 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 wait. His name is Gumi. It's G-U-M-I, but, you know, still said the same. Okay. Okay, okay there you go. A big one, huh? I think. I think you're a big one. Um, hello. <laughs> oh, well, one of them just vanished. Dick. 
Oh, man. <laughs> Frick. Okay, all right. I like that one. When, when I do a backstrike, I think of that comic someone did of hitting Volo in the back with a gigaton ball to keep him from getting away. <laughs> it's like, hey, you're the one who taught us how to do this. There's some more over here. Gummy. Gummy. Huh, and there's still more over here. Mm. <laughs> ah, nope. Okay. All right, that's fine. <sighs> I got a shiny on ma. I got a shiny on ma. <laughs> you can knock me over with your aura. With your fighting spirit. N no, L let go. Just wanted the iron chunk, okay? I didn't want any of this melodrama. I can't believe after all these episodes and all my shinies being off screen, I catch two of them in like, what, half an hour from each other? Yes. In fact, I would like to tell you about my new Yanmas. Return to the village. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. Okay, you know what? I think we can call it right here. We'll go find a nice juicy raid. Ooh, that could be promising, but let's see here. Mm. The game is like the easiest oh, you know and best and cheapest way I to get in VR. Because gonna... VR is so much fun. It's I know who we're going to raid. We're going to raid uh, uh, Makioto and, yeah, XOXO. It's a very exciting time to be in VR. Um, uh, yeah, and so I'm using Mixed Reality to put myself in the game. Okay. Uh, no, but um, I, I was thinking. Not want to hear auto playing bullshit. Okay. Okay, Macchiato XOXO. She's. Oh, 
No, actually we're not. I just got a preview of her stream and she is actually at the final boss right now. She is fighting the original one and I am sorry, I don't want to see that yet. So we're going to be raiding Super Ninbao. He's streaming something retro. He's doing it in cosplay as Dr. Wily from Mega Man. So um, we are going to see some fun stuff. Let's see, he is playing, ah, Mega Man X4. Helps fund my, uh, my okay. esteemed research. All right, now I think that's going to be awesome. Um. <laughs> All right. Ah. Hey, welcome in, G G Gabiani. Gab Gabiani. Oh my God, I am not pronouncing things correctly. Did that show up that time? Yeah, I'm going to pull that back out because this is actually a new uh, redemption that we have here. Do I know where I put it? I don't. Doesn't matter, because I think it showed up. 